All right, hey guys. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video here showing, you know, some good resources when you're working on your vehicle. Uh, I see a lot of questions on, you know, how do you do this and what's the best way to do that? and it, Or stuff like, is this factory for my vehicle? Or what should it have? Or what were the options? Uh, anything like that. And so I have these five things here that I have for every vehicle I own. Uh, I just wanted to go through them. Everybody should have their factory owner's manual. Uh, shows you your fuses, shows you how to shift your transfer cases, stuff like everything like that. Your maintenance schedules you should always have that on hand. Another one is if you can get it, always have the factory sales brochure that shows all the options and features of your vehicle towing capacities, the wheel, you know, everything you want to know that your vehicle could have or should have for its trim level. Another one is the accessories catalog for that year. And they do change from year to year. This just shows you the stuff you could have got from your dealer, the brush guards and the side steps and the uh, remote starts if they had it, uh, the bras, the extra security systems uh, the radios the optional radios the uh, disc players stuff like that so they're nice to have for your vehicle I usually get these and I, I put them in the back uh, slot behind the drivers or passenger seat if your vehicle had that this next one is the big one that everybody should have for their vehicle the factory service manual this goes through everything, how to fix everything, how to change everything. This is a must, has all the wiring diagrams. The thing I use it, I use it almost daily for is the pinouts. Now, not the actual wiring diagrams, but the, uh, the pinouts for, the, for different things like this. The overhead console what pin is what and what does it do and what color is it and so you can wire in an overhead console if your vehicle didn't have one uh, so you know what pin does what and this comes in handy like I said daily for me so I recommend anybody I think you can get these on eBay uh, probably in CD form or the hard or the paper version I like the paper versions just because I've had them since the dealership and you can bring them right out to your vehicle and use them Last is the, the factory parts catalog. This shows you every nut and bolt and every assembly on your vehicle. It will show you everything. Let's go through here. Let's just find something. Okay, we're looking here. Let's find a bolt. This bolt here, number one, say you're taking off your uh, emergency brake line and you break that bolt off or lose that bolt, whatever happens, you need a new one and you're, you want to ask, well, uh, I need to replace this, what do I need? You just look in your parts uh, catalog here, you go to, oh, that's what I need, number one. You go over to number one, it's a screw and washer combination. It's a hex head, M1.0, or M10 by 1.5 by 30 you just go to your hardware store and you get that bolt if you don't want to go to the hardware store you can uh, go to the parts parts page at the, uh, at the Mopar dealership website or a Mopar parts giant or where a Mopar wholesale supplier and you can give them the part number and get the exact replacement probably more expensive that way but You'll get the factory original. Another thing that this that this has in it, and I don't know if I'll be able to find it right off the bat here. Is there's a body section. And it will show you. Now I'm just gonna stop on this one because it shows the side. But it'll show you where exactly the trim goes on. 
and at the like the Durango, the SLT and the RT or the Sport or whatever the emblems are and the decals are for the side and the, the back and the front, it will show you uh, where they're supposed to be. Oh, right here they are. It'll give you this where it's supposed to be. So I've seen a lot going down the road that have just been painted and stuff and they, they have them mixed up or they have them sitting way up high and they just don't look right. This gives you the, the, the general location of where it's supposed to be. Now, I actually believe that in this manual, this is also in there, except I believe it gives you the exact measurements. And I'm not completely sure on that, but I've, I've done it before and I, I believe it does give you the exact measurements of where it's supposed to be. Um, but if not, at least the pictures show you close to it. But anyway, this is just, I just wanted to let everybody see that there are resources out there that you can have and have on your uh, at your disposal when you're working on your vehicle just in case you run into some trouble and you don't know what's going on or something's stuck or you just can't figure something out. These will help you out and, and save you a ton of time and headaches. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit.